the exhibition? Um, you know, I thought the second half we played pretty well. Um, I thought we shared the ball. We were able to, to really defensively um, play the way we're supposed to play. Um, I thought in the first half we were really sluggish. We had a lot of new guys that uh, have never you know, had a Division One uniform on and the first time under the lights. So, um, I think it was a great learning experience for us and uh, one we obviously have to, to learn really quick because the, uh, the tests get a lot harder here very quickly. Talk about those young guys uh, kind of getting their first taste of it. Uh, could you see them get comfortable as the game went on? I do. You know, I thought that, uh, you know, Jalen I thought was a lot better um, in the second half. But Todd Lewis I thought really kind of found his groove in the, in the second half as well. And it's just about us being able to, you know, get the guys to, to grow up, you know, and to get them game experience. And, you know, sometimes we're, you know, we might look a little ugly early, but, uh, you know, that's where I think we really missed Alex Anderson, you know, being a senior, um, even Miles, you know, being a senior, but he didn't play last year. And um, so, you know, we were out there tonight with a lot of guys with not a lot of experience, but, you know, as the game went on, uh, they got more comfortable and uh, we started playing better. With this as a kind of a backdrop, and you can get to look at the game tape, getting ready for Oklahoma State, what is probably the number one thing this team needs to work on in the next couple of days? Well, I think we, you know, we need to get better defensively. Um, we have to be able to, you know, play more north-south and not as much east-west. I thought we were able to do that in the uh, in the second half, but um, and we're going to have to establish a post play and not be able to and not foul as much in the post. You know, I thought our perimeter defense was actually pretty solid but our post defense was atrocious. Uh, so those are probably four things without watching the film that uh, stick out in my mind. The, with the new rules, uh, with fouling and things like that, did you see that play effect at all? There wasn't a whole lot of fouls called, but... Uh... You know, I, I did in the, in the post. You know, we, our post guys combined for 11 fouls in the first half. So I thought the, you know, the way the game was being called, you know, we really noticed it in the post more so than on the perimeter. But we've really, we probably put more emphasis on, you know, getting away from the hand checks and not as much emphasis um, in, in defending the post without fouling. Is this team ready uh, to play a, a game like Oklahoma State on Friday? <laughs> I don't know. You know, we're, we're going to find out Friday. I mean, uh, you know, we, we got, you know, every year we got, you know, four or five of those types of games. And, you know, we uh, open up, like last year, we opened up at Marquette. This year we're actually at Oklahoma State. So, um, you know, we'll find out. You know, I, I love the, I really like this team and, you know, we, we got a long way to go, but uh, the season is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And, uh, but we, you know, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll play a lot better on Friday. Coach, you talked about uh, fouls in the post. Uh, we went and pick up a few of those himself. Um, is that something that you've seen from him in practice or just a matter of getting on the court? Well, I think the biggest thing is that we, um, you know, I mean, as coaches, you don't have, you know, whistles all the time to call every foul. And, uh, you know, before, until you're in a game, until you actually see yourself on film with real officials, um, you know, there's, you know, you're going to have to learn. And I think that, you know, Malik picked up two cheap ones. Miles picked up two cheap ones. I mean, we, every post player we had, you know, had, you know, two or more fouls in the first half. Uh, just talk a little bit about um, your defensive intensity. There was great communication, I thought, from everyone on the court. It shows they bought into you. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, defensively, I thought in the second half, I thought we were really good. You know, I mean, we, we, we got a long way to go, but I thought, you know, our, our aggressiveness was, was where it needed to be. But we were also intelligent. We were also we were able to be the aggressor and uh, instead of just laying back and playing on our heels. I think that in the first half, we were trying to almost be too perfect. Um, I think we were, you know, sitting back and, and just, you know, not being aggressive and not playing. Um, in the second half, I thought we kind of loosened up a little bit and we were able to play the game. Uh, Richard had two big threes early in the second half, and the game still went out. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, how that got your team going and if you knew that it was in his game? Yeah, you know, Richard shot over 40% from the three last year. Um, you know, I think Richard's had a really good fall, and, um, you know, he, he's really he's earned his spots, he's earned his minutes, and he's a guy I have a lot of confidence in right now. Because again, he's the only perimeter player that was even in a uniform last year. So uh, you know, we relied a lot on two senior guards last year, and, um, and the one senior guard that we have returning, and Alex Anderson is not out there yet. So um, you know, there's going to be unfortunately some growing pains at times, and uh, we're going to have to figure out how to win games until um, until we can get everybody going in the same direction. And then last thing on Anderson, what's the status uh, injury-wise? Yeah, you know, he's going to see the doctor tomorrow, um, and we'll get more of a timetable then. Okay, and it's a finger? It is. On the right shooting hand? Correct, right uh, ring finger. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome.